Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier this week, Microsoft started finalizing KB5043178 in preview, which included six new features plus a couple of bug fixes, and that was for insiders in the release preview channel running Windows 11 24H2, and that update would also be rolling out to Copilot Plus PCs, which already have received... Um, to some degree or the other, the annual update, which um, rolled out to Copilot Plus PCs when they were launched on the 18th of June earlier this year. Now, that video will be linked down below and in the end screen. And my reason for mentioning that video is because late yesterday in my region on the 25th, Microsoft updated the changelog for build 26100.1876 which is been finalized in preview to include two new features and a bug fix and both of these new features like most new features now in the release preview channel for 24h2 microsoft is gradually rolling them rolling them out now both of these we have spoken about previously on the channel but just a quick overview as to what's new just to keep you guys posted for build 26100.1876 and the, the first of two new features that microsoft has rolled out is the update adds the option to turn on and to turn off enhanced mouse pointer precision to settings in the actual settings app and there's also a new option to change the direction in which the mouse scrolls which I think is a nice move. So that's now in the settings app. And something else um, they've added to settings is you can now set the power mode for when your PC is plugged in and when your PC is on battery. So this is on the uh, the settings system power and battery page. And this is another legacy control panel feature that Microsoft is now bringing over from control panel into the more modern settings app. And Microsoft has been slowly doing that in Windows 11 um, over the last couple of years since the release of Windows 11. So those are the two new features. As mentioned, we have spoken about those previously on the channel. And Microsoft has added those now to that update KB5043178 in preview. Now, I'm just going to mention the bug fix. Um, it's for screen readers that apparently screen readers were failing to narrate all the screen content from some apps so that's a bug fix now microsoft has pushed into the update now it does seem by what microsoft is doing in the release preview channel that they are gradually getting windows 11 24h2 ready for the um for the release to the general public for what we would say non-copilot plus PCs. And I would say due to the way that Microsoft is handling things now in the release preview channel, um, I don't think we'll see it this month. Uh, it was suggested it could start rolling out on the 24th. We were long past that. So if we don't see 24H2 roll out to the general public on the 8th of October, which will be the patch Tuesday, second Tuesday of uh, next month, and by the way, just on a side note, I did roll around a poll on the channel and most users think Microsoft will start pushing it out on the 8th. But nonetheless, if they don't push it out on the 8th, I think we could be heading for a 22nd or a 29th of October release or somewhere in that kind of last week, week and a half of October. And I think this is a good sign because um, Microsoft is polishing or ironing things out before the public launch in the release preview channel. So we're right on that kind of tipping point. Uh, re re the release preview channel is the last insider channel before it comes to stable. So I think um, between now and then, be that the 8th or the end of October, I think we can expect to see a couple of extra updates and bug fixes roll out, which means I think Microsoft is slowly getting Windows 11 24H2 ready, just trying to stabilize things for a public release because obviously, um, Microsoft and I think most users would want a smooth public rollout but nonetheless that's the latest and just wanted to keep you guys posted where we get those two new features and that bug fix added now in the release preview channel for Windows 11 24H2 with the update KB5043178. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.